Fairlands? Oh, uh, hello, hello. Hey! Oh, that's very kind. Hello, welcome. That's... Okay, okay, okay. That last part was just sarcastic, right? Come on, you guys are just messing with me, you little scamps. Must be April 9th. Welcome to 10 Minute Talk Show, everybody! Hey! It's a talk show that is 10 minutes in length, literally. Okay, uh, I just want to get a gauge of the room. There's a bit of a battle raging online right now. I just want to get a bit of a tiebreaker here. If you can help me out. Uh, when the plane lands, you're on a plane and there's applause. Because uh, you, you folks are enthusiastic applauders, clearly. So when the plane lands, applause or no applause? How do you feel about yes, applause? No applause, see? Dividing the nation! <laughs> Nobody can decide. Here's what, now I work, I work in daytime TV, okay? I work, in, I work in daytime TV. It's basically my job. I have a weird job. I, you know, I have a weird job. It's my job to make 60 soccer moms applaud for everything for two hours. That's what I do. It's a true thing. So, like, oh, oh, money, oh, pink lip gloss. Wow. Why'd they applaud? Seriously, it's a real thing. So, really, if you're gonna take two hundred strangers, put us in a silver tube, and fly us across the world at 700 kilometers an hour, and land us safely, I am so applauding. That's way. <laughs> That's way more impressive than, oh, that's the proper way to pan sea asparagus. Oh, I wasn't even aware. So you're getting my applause, and so is this audience, apparently, because they applaud for stuff as well. Very good. Hey, speaking of things worth applauding for, your first two guests and your last two guests. That sounds ominous. There's two guests on the show. That's really what's happening. Uh, you're gonna, if, you, if, if, if stand-up comedy interests you in any capacity, you're going to know exactly who they are. you got the JFL All Access. you got your Just for Last. you got your uh, video on trial. You got, they're just mainstays. And you name a festival of importance in this country that involves stand-up comedy. They've been at it. They're friends of mine, and they're on this show, and they have brand new albums coming out. And I'm very excited about it. You got your Sarah Hennessy and you got your Andrew Johnson! Yeah. Hey. Oh my god, please. Thank you. I don't know. Hi. I thought we were I thought we were gonna kiss. Is that weird? Is that, I thought yes. we were leaning in. No, I mean oh all three of us. Oh, oh. 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 I just like to Where watch. Do I go? Where do I just to him. Oh, this is off to a uh, weird start. It's so nice it's to be not. here. Thank you for having us, Derek. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For those, for those would-be talk show guests in the future, that is proper talk show etiquette. That was solid, Sarah. Yeah. Very good entrance. I appreciate it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, just to set the table a little bit of how far Sarah and I go back here, just to give you a little frame of reference, uh, I actually once commissioned young Sarah Hennessy to make a T-shirt for me uh, <gasps> protesting the uh, George Bush winning the presidency. So uh, that's bang how far on, back uh, we go. Back yes, then. we go back I far. got my wow. start in retail. <laughs> oh. And that's how I got discovered. She was really good. You made, like, a joke T-shirt for me once. Too. Yeah, it was in the early, I guess, mid 2000s. I don't know, yeah, early yeah. like 2000, like uh, nine, eight, seven, or whatever. But you were very bad. I gotta on say, I gotta gal. say, That's it right. was like a, a big time for funny things on T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and was why era. was I there As for it? As opposed to now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me, I've had enough. Okay, you guys, I've had enough of messages on tops. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting political early. Uh, young Andrew, uh, one thing I enjoy about youth early. There's a long to quote Mariah Carey, I'm still young. <laughs> uh, you have said every single time I've ever messaged you for anything, uh, you either it's McVeigh's Irish Pub or the Panasonic Theater. You said yes, and no. An there was one thing I very much remember saying no to you about. And you were like, it? "Can you come and dress like a cowboy and make out with another gay guy as a cowboy? <laughs> also, can you please uh, find the other gay guy and uh, no money?" And Is I said, "Is that a real story?" Actually, and I this said, "This sounds like oh. Craigslist." And no, I said, come on, because no, she wanted really? it for some MTV live segment that sounded hilarious and no. I, I said I said sorry I'm unavailable as is every other gay guy that I know but you might try the, you might try the best ass contest at Woody's anyway exploited yeah. exploited exploited so I have not said yes to everything I don't remember that I swear <laughs> okay. forget about that no. Derek Here's the thing, I had a weird, when I worked on MTV, I had a peculiar job. I know, job. you were just kind of like, uh, we have no, this psych egg, let's do it. Here's the thing, I come in at 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, they know what they're shooting. They say, hey, can you find uh, a six foot six Asian guy who knows how to ride a unicycle? Sure. Like, I'm not even, that's a real one. That's not even a fake one. Or like, can you get two guys to, to kiss, and one's in a cow costume, and one's in a squirrel costume, or whatever? Like, they would throw these things at me, and I'd that's be like, That's different than cowboy, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think it was supposed to be Cowboys are a little like, sexier than your cow. I think it was supposed to be some spoof or send up of Al Burton attitudes. Oh, and anyway, okay. and so who knows how that so, does settle. You probably found two people who ultimately went on to One Girl Five Gays because I mean that was a real <laughs> that was a real gay that, job. 
sounds God. correct. Yeah. That sounds very correct. You probably found some pretty desperate bitches that we were just like, toss them a bone. I love that show. It's my third Whoa. favorite. Whoa. I got paid hundreds of dollars for video and my third. It's my third favorite Lifetime show. Tonight on Desperate Bitches. Tens uh, of hundreds of dollars. It is such a pleasure to be here today. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Bang on, you guys. You guys want to take it from here? I feel like I don't need to be here at all. This is no, fantastic. No, 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 no. That's what I enjoy you so thoroughly. Thank uh, you. you. Here's here's a true story. I'll give you this. Uh, my wife, who you've met, who's a, yes. who's like kind of like a like a muffin. She's just such a like a little muffin. Like she's like a wholesome person. She's a wholesome person. I love her terribly. He's digging a she's hole. sort of like a, yeah. No, no, I stand by it. She's like she's she's she she fills the room with a scent you enjoy. Uh, that sounded any better. Uh, my, point, my point is, you've met her and she's a preschool teacher and she's delightful. She's sitting. Uh, she's knitting at at her place. Of, of employment, course. and she's just, and she's giggling to herself. And a coworker comes over. This is true story. He says, "What are you giggling to?" Shows her the iPod, and on it, Andrew Johnston's sh "Get Your Dick Out." That's a true story. That's a true story. That is on his album "White Devil," and it's fantastic. You probably screen the sentence "Get Your Dick Out" twelve times yeah, on that one track. It is fantastic. Menacingly, like it is like, a "Get track. Your Dick Out." Yeah, like it's not a song. Not even yeah. exaggeration. It's been, There's a context to it, though. Like, oh, let's yeah. not just bat this around willy-nilly. Oh, I assure you there is. Yeah. But God uh, forbid you kiss somebody in a cow costume. <laughs> <laughs> but you will demand that they get their dicks out. Well, I'm in the power position. <laughs> and that's what's important, everyone. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of tracks on your album, you guys have albums coming out. That's a segue, yes. friends. Yes, on Friday the 13th. Ooh. We have an album taping at Buddies and Bad Times Theater. And man, I can't even get over how fun it's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is the third thing that we've done together like this too. Yeah, like yeah. a big yeah. taping where we're like, you better believe it, baby. Like yeah. lights, camera, action, like, be there. Like we're charging. Recording. Yeah. It's charging. And cool People dog. care. It's a big deal. There's a poster. Yeah. And we'll have memories made that day. We're going down in our own history. You know? Yes. <laughs> It's an event that we're putting on. <laughs> it's an event that we're doing that we're going to be doing for people to come watch. Now, do you have names of the albums yet so no. people can't make it to the show? Oh, what's your Get Your Dick Out? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's your no, that was the last album. It was so called Get Your Dick Out. The first prototype of it actually was, like, that I got prints and I sold in Newfoundland. Yeah, it was called that because that's something that I could understand. But then it was ultimately... It was ultimately <laughs> we, have a, we have big numbers out east, so be careful. We have huge numbers out there, so what? He's, so, he's looking I'm, for trouble. I'm not leaving this cosmopolis anytime soon. But, um, the, no, then it got called White Devil, but I do have a few ideas for the next one. I believe but, you. So here's yeah. the thing. You're and she gonna... has a great idea. Can What's you yours? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's still in the oven. <laughs> yeah. If I take it out now, it will fall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to get all souffle about my idea. But I gotta keep it in there till it's ready. Okay, so if you can't go to the show on, on Friday the 13th, April, uh, which you are gonna go, then you can buy the damn album on iTunes, yes? That's yeah, exactly. like, oh yes. That. Quite soon after, because we want these in Sirius XM rotation so we can start getting royalties because we're both moving to the States and that's gonna be our only means of income there. Oh, oh shit. Oh my God, I so, can't believe how much you just said. <laughs> and like exactly how precise it was. Get your dick out, friends. <laughs> it's time for 10 quick questions. <laughs> I love quizzes. I okay. love a lightning round. Don't overthink it. It's real quick. You answer, you get it correct, or you don't. And if you get more than a B minus, everybody gets the album. Can we do that? Can we do that? We can't do that, can we? I, I we don't can't know. Sure, that. sure. I'll pay for the damn thing myself. <laughs> Hand to God. And I'll I have a feeling people are going to hold you to it. That's what the, they hold me to it. Victoria, do it. Here we go. Here we go. Don't overthink it. Ten quick questions. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth. You I'm dig stressed or? and okay. I'm into it. I'm glad. That means your head's in the game. Here we go. First question. Big Johnston, Chip and Pepper, or High Hypercolor, what was the best t-shirt fad of the 90s? Hypercolor. Yes, that's correct. That's right. Uh, Chips, Starsky and Hutch, or Miami Vice, what was the best cop movie reboot? I think it was, oh, I think it was um, uh, Over Starsky it. and Hutch. Yeah, yeah that's exactly right. Uh, the cop, the construction worker, or the sailor, what was the gayest member of the village people? Sarah. Sailor. Sailor is exactly right, 100% right. Uh, I don't know. Gilbert Sullivan, sorry, Gilbert Why? Silverman or Borelli's, which Sarah has, has the, holds the longest grudge? Gilbert. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's Darlene, right. man. Uh, yeah, Darlene holds Darlene, a grudge for a long time. They have that in common. <laughs> Ma oh, uh -huh. uh, throw in I'm a huge McLaughlin, Harmer, or Sleen, what do these three Sarahs have in common? Uh, Lil Fair? 
<laughs> we will accept that. We also would have we also would have taken singer songwriters from Canada, but we'll take Little Fair for sure. Uh, which Pixar movie uh, has a human boy named Andy? This is not in my wheelhouse, really, but Toy Story. Yeah. Oh wow! Andrew! That's exactly. Right. I don't watch cartoons. <laughs> He's very uh, good. Andrew Garfield actually does hate Men Mondays and love lasagna. True or false? True. Yeah, apparently true. We'll go with true. Uh, <laughs> I think it's false, but I'm gonna allow it. I, I didn't enjoy feel you. passionate about that one. I think we could all tell. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we, we, yeah. It was it was a C plus. Uh, Bill Murray only agreed to do the voice of Garfield because he thought the Coen Brothers wrote it. True or false? False. That is actually true. Sorry. No, 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 he yeah, he couldn't look that up quickly? Like, it was like a I whole... Also, I read time. exactly crawling through Bill Murray's IMDb trivia, like, on the daily. This is very... This is really hitting my You're spots. overthinking it. You're overthinking it. Uh, what, White Devil or Welcome to Saradice? Sarah which album no, has a longer... Saradice. Sorry, Trouble in Saradice. Which album has a longer runtime? Ooh, me? Mine? Sar Trouble in Saradice? Say it more confidently. Trouble in Saradice! That's right! <laughs> It was much looser. <laughs> and oh, finally, bitch. and finally, what's the better celebrity comedy couple? Uh, Heniston or Sandrew? Oh, my oh God, both of them. Me too. You gotta pick one. Oh, Sandrew. Yes, yeah, Sandrew! <laughs> Time Theater on April, Friday the 13th. It's Sandra, everybody. That's the Men Talk Show. Good night. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs>